Welcome to part three of the Journal Finder tutorial. This video will focus specifically on the citation linker that is available through JetFind. Please note that we do have another citation linker option, and that is libkey.io. You can find that in A to Z databases. You can also type libkey.io in your web browser's um, address box, and it'll take you directly there. The citation linker is the best way to work your way through a list of citations, whether you're working from an article's reference page or a professor has given you um, a list of articles to find. It does work best with DOI, which is a digital object identifier. It's a unique number assigned to articles or PMID, which is PubMed identifier. Going back to the library's webpage, the quickest way to get to the citation linker is to click on journals slash ejournals, which brings you into the journal finder in JetFind. And then up top in the menu bar, click citation linker. You do need to include um, as much information as possible if you are not including a DOI or PMID. Please note that uh, spelling and the order of numbers is very important particularly for DOI and PMID, if there's a mistake in those numbers or letters, the citation linker will not be able to find the article. I will start with a PMID and then click submit. Citation linker will think about it for a second. And then in the instance of this article, we only have one access point. So instead of bringing you to a list of access points, the citation linker will bring you directly into the database to that specific article. Going back to the citation linker, I will delete the PMID and paste in a DOI. DOIs always start with uh, 10 periods, some numbers, and a slash. So again, if you can, copy and paste it. And then click Submit. The citation linker thinks about it again. And in this particular instance, the library does not have access, but you can see all of the information of the article up top here, the title, the authors, um, the journal, the journal's ISSN, volume issue. And because it, the citation linker brought up that information, you can click request from interlibrary loan. I was already signed into interlibrary loan, so the page just popped up. And then all of that article's information is here so that I can submit my request. And this concludes part three of the Journal Finder tutorial dealing with the citation link.